In this video, we'll walk through the process of making a simple report for a NIME workflow using BERT, the Business Intelligence Reporting Tool. Here's a workflow available on the example server in 05 Reporting, 01 BERT, 07 BERT Example Basic. To save time, we've already executed the workflow to focus on BERT. It reads in a table containing inspection scores for restaurants in Austin, Texas over three years. In the top branch, we want to prepare a table of the lowest scores in the data set. We use the sorter, row filter, and column filter nodes to do this. In the bottom branch, we're going to prepare a scatter plot of all scores. We first assign colors for inspection types using the color manager node, and then generate an image using the scatter plot JavaScript node. The key nodes here are the brown data to report and image to report nodes. Notice that each of these nodes has been given a useful description. These descriptions are important because that is how the output data from each node will be referenced in BERT. Let's switch to BERT to build a simple report. You can do this by clicking on the BERT button in the toolbar. The first thing we'll do is make some changes to the master page. The master page is responsible for certain aspects of a report that will appear on every page. For example, its orientation, the header, and the footer. Click on the master page tab at the bottom of the layout editor. Let's set the orientation to landscape. Maybe we'd like to add a logo and text to the header ourselves. A useful way to organize elements in a report layout is to use a grid. Let's bring a 2x1 grid into the header area of the master page. Now, let's add a label to the header, enter some text, and edit its appearance. We can also bring in an image. Here, I'll add a static image of Texas that conveys the theme of our report by dragging an image icon into the layout and making some selections in the dialog that appears. You'll see that the size of the image is adjustable with a simple click and drag. Let's take a minute to make sure the master page looks correct. We can do this by previewing our report in a web browser using the View Report button on the toolbar. This looks good, so let's continue with adding elements to the report. Click on the Layout tab to switch to the Blank Report Editor. Let's drag in a 2x2 two two grid to organize things. Let's also add a label for our table in the top left grid cell and make a few font and color changes. Next, let's look at the Dataset View panel. This is where the table and plot image generated in our NIME workflow are available. Let's drag the bottom 20 dataset into the bottom left grid cell of the report and select which fields we want to display. You'll notice that the inserted table consists of a header row, a data cell row, and an empty footer row. We can make some additional formatting changes here if we like. For example, centering the display of the table. Finally, let's place the scatterplot image we created in NIME into the report. We can do this using the context menu. You'll see that this produces a red X icon, but that's okay it will display properly in the report itself. Let's preview the report we've made. Notice that there are many options for producing a report, including PDF, PowerPoint, and many other formats.
That's it for this video. Step-by-step -step instructions and screenshots for building this report are available in the reporting section of our website. There are more advanced examples available there as well.